Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Here we are on Unboxing Saturday. We're going to be taking a look at these two beauties. Yes, well, this one here is uh, still uh, from uh, our friend from Belgium. Yeah, Jerome. And uh, we're going to take a look at this. Hopefully, uh, shortly, soon, um, we will have some die casts uh, that we can... Uh, you know, uh, fines and stuff like that. Today is Saturday. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to the uh, Diecast Club meet in uh, Nina today, and uh, yeah, find some goodies. Matter of fact, I I know I got some coming. Uh, one of my friends, John, has uh, already showed me some of his finds, so they are coming, but um, it's taken a little while. All right, so let's take a look at this auto art that Jerome sent me. This is a Range Rover 4.6 HSE, and uh, very, very nice. These auto arts are uh, exquisite models. This is the Range Rover 4.6 SHE in the metallic green. Now, I have uh, this one here. This is the one I bought from Model Empire, which is in Milwaukee. And uh, this one is the Range Rover 4.6 S HSE in silver. So uh, let's take a look at these. We're going to open these up and we're going to take a look at both of these and just kind of compare them and uh, see what we've got. Now, I know I, I opened this once, I think. I think. Let's see if we can do it again. All right. Yes. This one, uh, the box is a little bit uh, worse for wear. You can see there's a lot of rub and stuff like this. This one is immaculate in the box. Uh, no wear on it or anything, hardly at all. But anyway, let's open this one up, see what we're dealing with, and see what these models detail. All right, already the... Uh, the thing is just coming, popping right open. So, yeah, there's not really much to hold that. So this is it. This is the silver, the um, the the one that I already had. Now these are right hookers. I think both of them. Yes, both of them are the European right hookers. Um, a lot of times with the lighter colors, uh, you can see a lot more of the body lines and stuff like that. Uh, very very cool this is awesome I like it they've got so much details there's the uh, fog lights under the valance there for the bumper they've got uh, wipers on the the headlights Range Rover on the bonnet there you kind of kind of hard to see that silver on silver but a lot of nice added pieces this is die cast with a plastic body and then a lot of the um, little pieces like the door handles and things like that are plastic but very very nice here's the back end very very nice got uh, some exhaust showing there little uh, thing there under the bumper there in the middle there is for the tow bar very very cool it's got the uh, let's get our pointer out here we got the key for the uh, rear trunk. Uh, you know, the, the bottom folds down and the top folds up. Got the uh, Land Rover badging on it. But look at that. It's got three colors in that uh, rear insert. The red, the yellow for the uh, orange for the turn signal, and then white for the backup lights. Once again, there's the Range Rover. Can't hardly see it. There also is the 4.6 HSE uh, underneath the door latch there, but uh, very, very cool. I like these kind of uh, wheels. These are uh, just cool wheels. I like the, 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 the mag wheels. Then it's got rubber tires. This is an enclosed cabin, 
so it doesn't get dusty and dirty in there, which is nice. But look at the um, interior there. That dash is just very, very nicely detailed. This one's got um, what would be, I don't know, like a charcoal brown uh, interior. Just kind of a one, one color interior there but very, very nice. It's got the tawny cover on the rear. That's kind of nice to kind of cover up all your goods that you have in there, but you see the brake, the brake there, the shifter knob. Yeah, some trim. That is very cool. That is very cool. Well, anyway, let's take a look at um, the one Jerome sent me from Belgium. Now, I don't know, he gets around a little bit uh, to other, um, countries i'm not really for sure which ones but he does do some tripping around so i don't know exactly where he got this one from but uh really appreciative of him sending that in and uh yeah so and once again i'm really looking um for um stuff for him for you know to say thank you for what he sent me here this is just great. Um, uh, he's mentioned um, U.S. exclusive things is what he really looks for because that obviously is something that he uh, doesn't have um, uh, uh, access to. And then also, um, you know, you get one thing and you pay an arm and a leg to get it shipped and then you get another thing and, you know, so... Here we're going to get him a whole package and uh, wowzer, wowzer, look at this baby. This is awesome. This has got that metallic green. I love it. Now look at the interior. It's got like the camel tan interior. Uh, same setup with the right hooker, but um, yeah, very, very cool. Same same kind of stuff, but now you can see the Range Rover on the hood a lot a lot clearer, and uh, same uh, gray gray dashboard, but uh, those the uh, camel seats, the camel tan colored seats with some black piping. Look at that! That is glorious, isn't it? Glorious, isn't it? Grand. It's got the moonroof in it. Very very cool. So it's very cool. Yes, I had one of these, but man, I didn't have this color, and it's kind of nice to have a dark color and then a light color, uh, so you can, you know, really see the difference. But this is the exact same model, and just in a different color. Just awesome. Look at that interior. That is cool. That is cool. It's a, you know, like getting a variation. And, uh, well, it is a variation. <laughs> it's the green, metallic green. So this is it. This is cool. I love it. Individual wipers on there. I love this. You know, and I really don't know, what is this? Um, early 2000s model, something like that. You know, I didn't really look it up to see exactly what, what year this is. But, uh, yeah, I just, the, 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 decals and stuff on the back just pop with that darker color very very nice awesome so yeah i am thrilled to have this these will be sitting on the shelf together it's nice that uh, auto world or auto art has it so you can open them up now let's just take a look at the bottom so it does it does snap off there and then there is a screw so the the stand snap snaps off and then you can unscrew that um, so yeah, we could, uh, could do that, but that is awesome. 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 Well, we're going to take a quick look at some side-by-side -side pictures. So just awesome. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. Yeah. I got to tell you, I've been, uh, looking at the YouTube and, and, um, uh, I guess more or less just YouTube and, uh, seeing some of the, uh, the new the new Range Rover that's coming out the 2022 uh, and boy oh boy that thing is spectacular matter of fact that uh, end of the day on Friday 
I was able to um, build your own Land Rover and I got that bugger, the brand new one, I got that up to um, 199,000 uh, with some uh, choice add-ons and stuff, but that brand new Range Rover, I think it was the first edition uh, autobiography and uh, you know not some crazy additions but you know add-ons but uh, yeah it, so yeah yeah hundred and ninety some thousand miles I don't know if those people are watching uh, this channel that that could afford that but hey now I, I envy you oh look at that this has got steering steerable wheels I did did not know that that is awesome check that out that is awesome yeah all right well that's it for an unboxing saturday thank you once again drone for this uh beautiful range rover 4.6 hse from auto art that is awesome all right i'm out of here gotta get going let me hear it slow traffic keep right and have a great rover day